Now, I imagine nearly everyone has a story about that nightmare journey to work. Well, commuters on the district line are now being encouraged to vent their frustration and tales of carriage crushes, daily delays and general woe. Putney MP Justine Greening has set up a dedicated tech service, promising to use the comments to push for improvements. Mark Ashdown braved this morning's rush hour. So just how bad is the district line? At 7.50 this morning, the platforms at East Putney are already filling up. Getting on's not a welcoming prospect. And then this, crammed in like animals, an advert for cycling if ever there was one. The next station is Putney Bridge. But we all love a good rant, and now sufferers of the district line can do just that via the magic of their mobile phones. I get it every morning, and it's just, it's like this every morning, so... It's terrible when he's sorting out. I'd say this is one of the better days. It's not quite as squishy as it normally is. Uh, like, people literally rammed, like, sardines in a tin. And then you get stuck under a tunnel and wait for ten minutes like that as well. Saving people's privacy a bit, a bit too much. Is, uh, you just need a bit of personal space. And, and this is where the texts come. Tube pack solid. Eight, half past eight, going to be late for a crucial board meeting. Putney MP Justine Greening set up the service and promises to feed your comments onto London Underground. I don't think it'll be a whole ramp because one thing that strikes me as somebody who uses the Underground every day to get to work is that I never get asked what my experience is and often I'll have had a bad experience going into work. I'll have been stuck in Earl's Court or somewhere like that. I'll have been packed, sandwiched onto a train with hundreds of other people. But tube managers say comments should be directed to them. Customers have comments, concerns, complaints about the service then. We have a customer service centre uh, that takes calls, emails. We deal with you know, two or 3,000 every week. So really there's no need for, for anyone to go to an MP or anyone else. They can come straight to us with comments. After just four district lines stopped this morning, my ribs couldn't take any more, so I left them to it. Of course, the other solution would be to get a job outside London. The journey in the other direction was noticeably different. Mark Ashdown, BBC London News. Well, what do you make of this scheme? Uh, is this MP in a crucial marginal seat just trying to win over supporters? Or is it an effective way of getting feedback from commuters? Perhaps you could benefit from the service on your line. Uh, don't text us, but please do email us at the usual address there and we'll read out some of them at the end of the programme.